Okay, so hey church, I'm gonna <clears throat> do something a little bit different than we normally do. If you were at the service on Sunday, great. You know, it's awesome and uh, we love you, love having you. But what happened was in our first service, it went all along and as a result of that, our uh, live stream, I guess, cut off before the end. So because of how critical that is, and we always do action steps at the end of the service to ask people to apply what God is saying to them, Today will be like a reminder of that as I'm going to read some of the scriptures that we used in that closing part of that because what we were looking at is not only biblical history but church history and a moves of God that have taken place. And I want to read to you from 2 Chronicles in the Old uh, Testament chapter 7. So Solomon finished the temple of the Lord as well as the royal palace. He completed everything he had planned to do in the construction of the temple and the palace. Then one night the Lord appeared to Solomon and said, I have heard your prayer and have chosen this temple as the place for making sacrifices. At times, I might shut up the heavens so that no rains fall or command grasshoppers to devour your crops or send plagues among you. Then, if my people are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and restore their land. Well, friends, the, the mess that our nation is in right now, in the world, but our nation, we are in need of a move of God, and we are also in need as a church to awaken and look around us and see what is exactly going on. And as God tells Solomon and us, he gives us a glimpse into who he is and what he's doing God says this. Listen, church, it's so important that we understand that God says, I will shut off the rains. I will cause grasshoppers to eat your crops. I will send plagues among you. This is God saying this. <clears throat> and God is bringing about some of the disasters of the world so that we will humble ourselves and seek him. So the critical aspect of this is the fact that in light of everything that's going on, we need to humble ourselves before God, seek his face, pray, repent of our sin, turn from those wicked ways. And then God says he will hear and he will heal and restore. The only hope we have in these United States is a move of God. But we are yet not calling out to him as a nation. We're not asking forgiveness. We're trying to find solutions in every other way but God. And he is the only way. And he is bringing us to a place to humble us as a people that we might call upon him. I encourage you today to humble yourself before God. Seek his face. Repent of any sin in your life and turn from it. Then God says he will hear and he will heal, forgive and restore. Let's be a praying church. Let's be a real church. Let's be a transparent church before God. Let's be real with ourselves before him. Let's seek his face. He is the only hope for us and for our communities and for our nation and the world. We need to lead the way, church, in our seeking him. And it's only God that can make a change. May God bless you. Let's be his church.